Hi everyone, today's video is on the topic Transformers. By Transformers, I do not mean the science fiction film series Transformers. Instead, I am going to talk about the glare transformer mechanism which is essential for hearing. The conductive pathway involving external layer, mid layer and the inner ear is not as simple as shown here. Why? I will explain to you with an example. You might have noticed that when you are submerged underwater, you are unable to hear things that from outside the water. This is because the speed of sound in water is different from that in the air. Similarly, when sound waves pass through the air filled external and mid layer and reaches the inner ear, the speed of sound waves differ. And so there is a reduction in the energy transmission. By the calculations, according to the speed of sound in perilymph and air, there should be only 3% of sound energy reaching the inner ear through the external layer and mid layer. But it was seen that about 50% of sound energy is reaching the inner ear instead. And this is because of impedance matching or the transformer mechanism. The mid layer is acting like a step up transformer that increases the voltage to efficiently transfer the energy. Mid layer transformer mechanism involves three levers, the catenary lever, ossicular lever and the hydraulic lever. The hydraulic lever action mechanism is the most important transformer action mechanism. It involves the difference in the surface area between the tympanic membrane and the step piece foot plate. The surface area of tympanic membrane is 60 mm square and that of step piece foot plate is 3.2 mm square. The effective vibratory area of tympanic membrane is only 45 mm square, but the whole of the step piece foot plate is vibrating and so the whole 3.2 mm square is taken into consideration. So what is the magnification that is happening? 60 divided by 3.2 should not be taken because it is not the effective vibratory area. Instead, you have to Take it as 45 divided by 3.2 and the magnification comes as about 14 times. So a magnification of about 14 times is seen with the help of hydraulic lever mechanism. I will explain to you with an example. You can see that when the area is getting decreased by using your finger on the hose, there is increased displacement of the water and this is because of the increase in force and that is occurring due to the decrease in surface area. A similar mechanism is happening in case of hydraulic lever as well. Now coming to the ossicular lever mechanism. The great philosopher and scientist Archimedes once said, give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum to place it, I shall move the world. So this statement emphasizes the importance of lever action mechanism and yes, Lever action mechanism is also playing a great role in mid layer transformer mechanism. Handle of malleus is 1.3 times longer than that of the long process of ingus. Hence, there is a lever advantage that is being provided here and this lever advantage is 1.3 times. So totally you have 14 into 1.3 that is equal to 18 times advantage because of the liver action as well as hydraulic action. Now the third mechanism that is involved is that of the catenary liver. And what is this catenary liver? Here the curved membrane effect is happening. When tympanic membrane is stretched, the greater force is seen upon the points of attachment and as the analyst is immobile, the sound energy is applied to the tympanic membrane is amplified at its central attachment. So there is a two times magnification of sound energy in the central area and that is what is meant by the catenary liver mechanism or the curved membrane effect. So these are the three main mechanisms which are involved in the transformer action of mid layer. Apart from the transformer action of mid layer, there is another mechanism being provided within the mid layer that helps in efficient energy transmission and that is the phase differential. Sound waves do not reach the oval window and the round window simultaneously. 
there is a preferential pathway for the sound waves to reach the oval window through the ossicular chain and this is what is called as the ossicular coupling and so it ensures that when the sound waves are at a phase of compression in the oval window it will be at a phase of rarefaction at the round window and there is no phase cancellation occurring and because of this there is efficient transmission of energy so that's all about the various mid layer mechanisms that help in efficient transmission of sound energy i'll be coming with another important topic until then goodbye